In this Ultranet podcast, I'm going to show you how to browse the collaborative learning spaces and also how to join them. So again, I'm going to go down to my doc. I'm going to click on collaborative learning. And from the tabs up the top, I'm going to click on available collaborative learning spaces. Now, as you can see, lots of groups have already been created. Um, some will have lots of me members, others will not. Now, the important thing to look at is the type of group. Is it restricted? Is it private? Or is it open? Now, if it's private, it won't actually display here. It's unlisted. Restricted means that you can't just join and start editing. You have to request membership, and then the admin of that group will decide whether they want to accept you or not. So. Let's say we find an open group, Australian Developmental Curriculum Program. Okay, so if this looks interesting, I can click on Actions, Join. Now I'm a member of this group and I can start contributing to it. If it's restricted, I have to click on Actions, Request Membership, and I can add a little message. Hey, it's me, please let me in, you know me, or whatever it might be and click save. Then the admin will receive a message and if you're approved you'll then be able to start contributing to that group. Now since I joined one group you can see now under my collaborative learning spaces I have developmental curriculum. So I can now click on this and start contributing to this group. So you can see someone's already posted a YouTube video. Um, I might want to add my own comments here. And here we have a wiki, which means I can click on edit, and then I can go into this wiki, and I can start adding my own few cents. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have anything productive to say. So that's how easy it is to browse for and join collaborative learning spaces.